Hello my Sock Universe, uh, to another video from my collection. I initially thought maybe I show you just one uh, shirt from my collection, but then I said, okay, we have what's probably the biggest game uh, of the calendar with El Clasico come, coming up, which is a recent name, but you know, everyone uses it, so I'm using it. Also El Clasico, no time to change the background here. And I had a really, really hard time choosing a jersey for El Clasico, then I said, okay, Let's take the Spain jersey that they wore in the World Cup Final 2010. It is Spain, which is more Real Madrid, but it has number six, which is, of course is Iniesta. So we have both kind of in there. It's also a Barcelona colored Spain jersey. Go figure. So um, I was thinking, shall I do just the ones that are stories to get another story video? But I said, nah, let's show you all my jerseys from uh, both sides of El Clasico. Um, also, in a way, there are some nice stores in there, but uh, to kind of give you a view, I have a slightly more Barca jerseys than Real Madrid jer uh, jerseys, but I will go chronologically through them and, you know, tell you a little bit about everything. The first one, there's, there's also a big story about it, but I th think I'm telling that in the video uh, that I've made about this jersey, and this might be uh, for another story time for sure is this beautiful Real Madrid jersey and uh, full disclosure I think of all the jerseys that I'm showing this is probably my favorite out of there although I'm always more on the Barca divide of uh, El Clasico slightly leaning more bar Barca this one is just to me special this is a perfect Real Madrid jersey although it's not all white but uh, the addition of the navy with the gold and then the whole uh, shiny material I just love it and uh, also the way that the um, three stripes are done with a little bit golden outline it's absolutely gorgeous the one thing is the pants didn't really fit with it because they were a little bit um, navy on the side I think they should have used the same pattern as here it would have been ab absolutely perfect I also like that um, the, the MCF is also in here um, I got this believe it or not when we were I think it was for the semi-final uh, for the 2000, I think before that uh, we, we saw in this season both of the games Bayern Munich against, against Real, Real Madrid. And I think for the first one we didn't get jersey, but I think for the, for the semi-final uh, my brother and I decided, my brother is a big boss for so far, we decided for that one we better get Real Madrid jerseys and so we did. And yeah, there are some stories about that, uh, but yeah, that was the reason. I think this one's an absolute, absolute classic. I've been wearing this a lot, so there are some signs of wear on the back. Also, the sponsor came a little bit off, so I actually first glued it on and I ironed it on. I think the ironing was more successful. But yeah, uh, absolute classic in the Real Madrid Pantheon. The only thing that I'm bothered is that they couldn't wear this one in the final because that would have been a jersey befitting. This was worn for two seasons, from 98 to 2000. Um, and there's barely a Real Madrid jersey that I think lives up of the, uh, at least in, du during that time to this one, in my opinion. And it's still, of all the jerseys here, probably my favorite here. Having a Real Madrid jersey and my, bar, my brother staying in Barcelona, I think for the 2000, for 2001 to 2002 in that school year. Um, I said, of course, yeah, I want to have a Barcelona Bar 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 jersey for Christmas. He gave me the full kit, uh, full kit, the pants also. And I got this one that was worn in the 2001-2002 season. And I've actually also worn it to a game at the camp now between Barcelona and Deportivo La Coruña. Three to win after, I think, twice being down was a great game um, in rain in Barcelona in, Feb in February. So I, I, anyway, it's Christians with the um, camp now. Uh, wearing it. I have to say um, what initially bugged me with this one was always uh, we have the golden outline here which I actually think is really really nice but we don't have it on the back. The num that is weird. It took me, believe it or not, it took me a long time to figure out that the sleeves are actually uh, different colors. I think it took me two or three years to figure that one. Literally, I never thought about it. I always thought, oh, I, I like the strapping. This is almost perfect Barcelona strapping. Maybe a tad too thin, but I think pretty perfect. The other thing that, that, that I found, this was early Nike Barcelona. They had 
the nice club's colors. I don't even mind the navy color, but you see the orange side, there's a lot of navy, and then they were wearing navy pants. I did that, that was never looked uh, that I really was uh, so keen on. Um, and yeah, so that's why I. <laughs> I didn't like the early Nike jersey. This was the first one that I really liked. The, the initial ones I really did not like. Uh, this is also the old style crest, in my opinion, a little bit better than the Kirk It's a little bit more squat, uh, but I like I, I actually that the lettering fully extends here on the modern one. It doesn't look that, that, that good, and I can totally understand when they want to get rid of the lead, lead lettering because it looks superfluous. Whereas here, I think the lettering it makes a whole lot more sense. So yeah, this was my first Barca jersey. Um, got it Christmas 2001 from my brother. And I have to say it has served me well over the years. I've been wearing this probably even more than the Real Madrid jersey. And the nice thing with La Liga jerseys is most of the time you get the La Liga tag. And this was one of the first ones where they had it there. Of course, I had to visit my brother a few times there. And on my first visit, this was in February 2002, where I was wearing this jer uh, jersey. They had this huge exposition on the Monchuic. Uh, soccer egg, 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 egg exhibition which we, will vi we visited of course this was the centenary year of Real Madrid and they were selling jerseys there and I was really in love with the centenary jerseys especially the black one I know I was going back and forth between white shall, shall, shall I get the white one or the black one meanwhile I would love to have the white one but back then black was my fav favorite color and I have to say this is such a perfect Real Madrid jersey with black and just you know the crest is popping so nicely and the, uh, and also um, the sponsorless version they went for one season in the league sponsors spons even no Adidas striping here so I really really love that as well and um, you can see here there's some cloth inside which you could see on the white version a little bit shine shining through on the black version that doesn't come through so that made for me the black version a little bit superior you have of course the LFP logo and you have Real Madrid the logo for uh, the centenary so yeah I bought this in Barcelona but I actually, I actually quite some Real Madrid fans living in Bar Barcelona we learned um, but I also wore this on the day after Real Madrid won the Champions League that year where we were in Madrid and for the celebrations I was wearing the white one so there's another story there and on the next day I was wearing this centenary jersey when they were celebrating not only were they playing the centenary anthem there but they were celebrating the ninth trophy so we were in the Bernabeu and saw the trophy coming back to, to, to Madrid and I was wearing this jersey so not a Really nice one. It's probably my second favorite. Ah, it's hard to say. It's hard to say. But I really, I have lots of fond me memories with this one. This is an abs for me, it's a classic jer uh, jersey. It's just that Madrid in black. Yeah, at the moment, not as much, but I have to say, it's a really, really nice one. So up until 2017. Although being more on the Barcelona side, and there have been a few times that I wanted to get a Barca jersey, I almost got the 9-10 one, and then uh, I had it picked for classic football shirts, I wanted to think over it. It got in the cart, but when I wanted to order, bang, uh, it was not there, and they gave me a coupon for, 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 for that, which meant that I actually could get another nice jersey. I think this is where I got my long long sleeve white Milan jersey for that one so yeah uh, that was uh, one uh, one that I wanted, I wanted to get then when we moved to Europe I really was looking for the 10 11 Barca jersey but I never really found it at a price that I could like or, or, or whatever so it took a long long time and I always felt it weird that I am more for Barcelona and I have two Matt Richards and only one Barca shirt Enter the big equalizer. In August 2016, I saw this at a mall. Sponsorless, how a Barca jersey should be. Um, and I said to my wife, please get this for me, keep it, get it for my birthday. I ordered this, I had this first initial, I glued it on because with the, with the iron, I was not so uh, confident. And then my mom actually sold it on and you can see a little bit of the glue on the inside and also the stitching here. 
Uh, the stitching was a whole lot of complicated and yeah, it was, well, was, was a lot of work. But what I liked about this one, that this was finally a Barca jersey that didn't have any sponsor because uh, I didn't want to have any of the Qatar Airways or even Qatar Foundation on there. Um, I like the homage to the 92 jersey, although I find it rather weird that the darker stripes are thinner here and then get thicker on the bottom. But having a sponsor list was a big sad selling point. And I have to say this Nike template, although for national teams it didn't work, it works quite well for Barcelona. Again, LFP. And if a little bit you say yes, there probably should be a number on there. Uh, that the team didn't do much in this jersey is maybe a little downside. On the other side, this was worn during the remontada, so it has a special feel to it. And I also like that they were wearing actually nice uh, blue pants with them. So I think that was one of the best looking parts of jerseys of recent years. And again, look at the crest. I mean, you know, I mean, well, this to me is way too close together. So I always think it should be a little bit more spaced out like it was on the old one. But yeah, the big equalizer. From that moment on, I had always more Barca jerseys than uh, Madrid jer jerseys. And I finally found for 20, 20 years on this online page, the Hallout 10-11 jersey. I was actually surprised when I got it how the color look looks like. Uh, that this was not uh, the fold over, but it was a double fold over in, 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 in a way. I have to say the first time I saw it, I was not that sold on the yellow color, but it makes so much sense. And I got very much used to it. It fits very well with the jersey. Um, the other thing I didn't really like with that look was the red pants, but there I, mind, I, I didn't mind it as much as I did in uh, 05, 06. This one to me is pretty much the perfect Barca jersey. Maybe the sponsor should go, although the UNICEF is really, really nice. I wanted to have one with, you, with, 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 the, with the UNICEF logo. But I like the thickness of the stripes, the coloring is fine, the yellow accent is all perfect, and it has, of course, what is now almost a Nike feature, um, the little stripe, which is the Catalan flag. Really, really nice Mesquion on Club. So yeah, three Barca jerseys, but three home jerseys, which always bugged me with Madrid at a home and then the weight jersey. And it took me until the beginning of 2020 that I got the guard and a weight jersey. Unfortunately, it was a weight jersey. I'm not complaining. I got this for free from my brother. It has very special features, but it was not a color that I consider a classic Barcelona away jersey. And it's this, I think they were wearing this from 98 to 2000. And I know that my other brother, Florian, who I visited in Barcelona, uh, had this one with Rivaldo on the back and suddenly my brother Wolfgang gives me this one and it has Clivert with a little bit with a little bit damage on there. So I was always wondering uh, how this got in his possession. I have to ask him what really is nice that it has the centenary crest. So kind of like with Real Madrid, I have a centenary jersey and it's an away jersey. So I my brother I bought for my brother in 99 in Barcelona the centenary home jersey and he still has it. I told him keep it. This one is worth a fortune. Please keep keep it in good shape. I have to say I never liked the centered crest, but I think here it looks all right. Again, it's the old style. Um, would like to have it more light like this, but it looks fine. The colors are a little bit off for Barcelona, but where it's not off is on the side. And I think this is what saves the jersey, makes it a really, really nice one to have the club's colors here. I just wish that the blue here would match the blue here, but this was more or less the blue that they were wearing on the pants. So yeah, Nike needed a time to really get Barcelona right. But I have to say on this one, overall, this is a really, really beautiful jersey it's just not for me the perfect barcelona away jersey because the only three colors that i find proper which are of course yellow then it is uh orange i think is proper because they won the champions league and I also i think the turk was because they also won a uh, uh, jersey in there so if you had the count we are now three two and now i'm not 100 percent sure but i think i got the count correct we have another equalizer so now it's 4 to Bar Barcelona. I got three home shirts. Yeah. 4 to Barcelona. Let's make it 4 3. It's the 1920 away. I was in love with this jersey despite the black. I, I showed it in my video. I do not like the black, but everything else about this one is perfect. I would like this to be in gold. 
I really think I, it would look better. I know I had some arg arguments on the video. I still think it is better, especially since, since you have some gold cucker coming out, out of nowhere down here. Uh, the crest here is a silicon crest, but it's also gold. It's monochromatic, but I think for Real Madrid, it doesn't look all, all the bad. This is such a beauty. I mean, I like dark blue and paired with, with the gold. This is awesome looking. It really look, looks great. The only downside is I have no more Real Madrid away jerseys than I have home jerseys, which doesn't feel quite right as well. But then so is PSG. I have also uh, two away way, way, way jerseys and one home jersey. Uh, and funnily enough, when I saw this the first time in play, I think this was when they lost 3-0 to PSG away from home, where PSG played suddenly in white and Madrid in uh, blue, which so much didn't make sense to me. However, I have both jerseys, uh, both jerseys because both are rather beauty beautiful. Maybe as a jersey match for, for those two teams, it didn't work out. Again, the only thing that pegs it down for me is the black. I really love the... I know it should be a sound wave. I call this the El Galactico pattern because it looks like the Milky Way on the sky. Total favorite uh, of mine. And as much as I prefer probably Barcelona slightly over Real Madrid, I have to say Real Madrid jerseys usually are the nice shovels. They look better most of the time. So it was time to get proper Barcelona away jerseys. And I'm a little bit mad at myself. I got those last October in very short succession and uh, was a little bit mad because I really didn't need uh, more Barca, jer uh, Barca jerseys, but yeah, so be it. I got this one and this is from uh, 06, 08, the away jersey. Uh, it's a little bit beaten up, but I think it cost me 20, 20 and since I bought it together, I think with the Aston Villa one. I could get free ship shipping, so it was fine. I wanted to get a Schalke jersey from same seller, which was actually then um, sold out and I say okay let's take the orange one here. It has the UNICEF which for me is the nicest uh, thing. It's I think the um, oldest one where I have the uh, new style crest here. It was Meskeon Club and also here on the side I think was it here? No? Oh, no, no. Uh, it had some stitching FC Barcelona here. I actually really like orange with the club's colors. For me this is a proper this is probably the best Barcelona away jersey that I have. I have to, I have to say I really like it. It's the same style as I have the Australia 2006 jersey. Uh, pretty much the same style from Nike and in Barcelona ways. I really, really li like it. I also like this feature here that here you have the Catalan flag on the sleeves and it's only on one side and then of course you have the league patch. Um, overall, as I said, I think of all the away jerseys, this is the one that I personally like the best. Um, yeah, I think orange is a very proper away color for Barca, so especially since they won the first Champions League, or European Cup it was back then, wearing orange and all the Dutch connection, I think it's very good. Um, and then the last one that I got is the complement of course to the 10-11 home, it's the 10-11 away, which you saw the unpacking video, my daughter, so I showed this to her and I said, ah, this color is wonderful. Yeah, of course, I always was looking at this one because I think this is another one of those few colors, the Barcelona. Barcelona has been pulling putting out away, which is I never find proper, but what I like with this one, uh, my wife says the, co the color is off. I actually don't mind the color, but what I really like is that you have the club's colors here. I like this uh, chest band in the club's colors. Uh, give, give, give me a little, uh, nice stru structure and since it was only 15 euros I really said I have to just do it. It says Meskion Club as, as does the home, home jersey and has the patch here, UNICEF sponsor. Um, yeah, since they wore turquoise on the Kappa and won I think a 97 Cup Winners Cup wearing such a color I always think this is one of the three colors that I can accept for Barcelona away jersey. Um, probably my favorite is yellow and I really would like to have one of those uh, Catalan flag jerseys but not this year. This year is not a year for, for me to get another Barcelona jersey because I have six and as much as I do like Barcelona I think six is more than enough at the moment so yeah and I'm not gonna sell any of these. So these are my El Clasico jerseys. Um, We'll have a pretty big El Clasico coming up. Um, let me know 
which team you support and what jerseys of these teams you have in your collection. I would be very curious to know. Um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye!